Search and rescue teams all around the state tonight reminding you to be so careful with winter activities. The weekend was full of crews responding to emergency hiking, skiing and snow tubing incidents. One woman who will be in the hospital these next few weeks after she was hit by a snowmobile while tubing with her family in Cache County. Fox 13 News reporter Emily Tenser spoke to her, her fiance about the shocking incident. Her family tells me she has multiple broken bones and lacerations across her face. She also broke her wrist and her back in three spots, but she is expected to survive. A day full of family snow fun took a life threatening turn Saturday. Here they go. When the final tube down the hill ended with a snowmobile running over a West Jordan mall. And they start going down and going down, and then the snowmobile guy keeps started driving over. He was still driving whenever she hit the front of the snowmobile, so the, her whole face and everything hit, hit the front of it. The crash happened around 315 near Peter Sinks in Logan Canyon. I just hate seeing her hurt. Michael Teets was able to find a group of good Samaritans with first aid experience to help his fiance before she was airlifted to the University of Utah Hospital. Her laying there and just her face ripped open and blood everywhere, like, I didn't think she was going to make it. I really didn't. <laughs> 34-year-old okay. Samantha Bergman's son and three-year-old twin daughters saw it all. You know, I'm always asking, where's mommy? And mommy's head was bleeding. Mommy got boo-boo. Mo mommy die. Why mommy die? Like, all that. Teet says Bergman has many broken bones and lots of swelling, but a CAT scan found no brain injury, and she is responsive. I just felt good, you know what I mean? I mean, talking to her and her nodding. The couple plan to get married next year, but Teet yeah, thinks now know. they'll have to wait so they can focus on her recovery. When they see mommy, it's going to be amazing. Like, I can't wait to see her at home. If you want to donate to help her recovery, her son created a GoFundMe. You can find the link to that at fox13now.com. The family also wants to find and thank the Good Samaritans who stepped in to help on Sunday. So if you know who they are, you can also reach out on that GoFundMe. Reporting in front of the University of Utah Hospital, Emily Tenser, Fox 13 News, Utah.